going down. Welcome back to another episode of The Hottest Show Out There, your weekly badger. Today we have a very special guest. He's an OUA gold medalist. Welcome Michael Chiapella. Mike, it's a pleasure having you here on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm excited to be here. Like, I'm excited, you know, we're by the pool, we're by the tank and everything like that. You're gonna teach me how to row. I yeah. never rowed in my life, so. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Cool. It's, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But like, to start off, we're gonna get to know you. Like, I see you're wearing your gold medals here. So, like, how proud of you are those gold medals here? Um, well, I mean, I'm super, super proud of this one. Um, well, I mean, this one's a silver, but this is my only OUA gold medal uh, since I've been here. I've won a couple silvers, a couple bronzes, um, but winning a gold is just a different feeling, you know? And uh, we won it by a lot, too. So, it was like we had a little bit of time to celebrate at the end. So. Yeah, it was it was awesome. I'm super proud. And like yeah. now, like I thought of you winning that gold medal, you guys also won a team banner as well. Yeah, how was that feeling? Man, it was it was awesome just sharing that experience with the guys. Um, we're one of the teams that stuck it out through COVID and really like put in the work when a lot of other people were just at home. It paid off, so it was an awesome feeling. Okay. So like, how has the season been in terms of like practice and workout schedules? Like, what is your schedule like for Roy and Brock Roy? Um, I mean, it's intense as always. Like, it was actually later this year than normal. Usually we're on the water at 5.15. So it's like a 4.15 wake up, which isn't nice. But uh, we were on the water at six this year. So five o'clock wake up's not, not <laughs> as bad. I mean, it's still not great, but yeah. yeah. Um, and then usually we do a second session in the afternoon. So two workouts a day. It's pretty intense, wow. but I've gotten used to it. 5 a.m. wake up, and that's every day? Yeah, yeah. Weekends too? Uh, weekends, we actually start at 7, so we wake up at 6 on the weekends. Oh, yeah. yeah, which no, is nice. Which yeah. is nice. Part yeah. for you guys, that's a lot. Yeah, really. yeah. Maybe for me, it's still, I can't even get to my 12 a.m. Like 12 <laughs> p.m. classes, so yeah. it makes sense. So like, outside of like, you know, team practices and schedules and stuff like that, like, what do you do to keep your body in top, tip top shape, like when you're at home and stuff? Uh, honestly, I like to do a lot of running. I used to run a lot in high school and uh, swimming as well. And uh, I mean, I love to hit the gym probably uh, to a fault. Uh, the coaches always tell me I should lift less and do more cardio, but um, I've gotten a bit better with that recently. So definitely a lot of biking, a lot of running. Okay, okay. So next question here, like, so now it's the day before OUA championships here. It's like kind of like on home turf because it's in Welland, not too far from here. Well. Yeah. Like, what is your preparation going into those championships? Um, honestly, ever since high school, I've always done the same thing before any race. Um, I wasn't rowing in high school, but I've always been racing. And I always get an extra large cheese pizza from Pizza Pizza and take an ice bath. Yeah. So, yeah. That's your preparation. Yeah. And I, uh, I like to see that extra large cheese pizza. Yeah. It wins the OUA gold medals, ladies and gentlemen. It's the key. Okay. So, like, um, Outside of winning the OUA championship with your team, like how has being a part of Brock growing team been? Um, honestly, it's great. Like we have a really good team, like atmosphere at Brock, really supportive, and uh, it's like everybody is friends outside of the rowing course too. How long have you been rowing? Um, I'm coming up on two and a half years now. Wow. I'm actually pretty new to the sport. Well, I was doing a lot of different sports in high school, um, and ever since I was like young. I kind of like wanted to go to the Olympics. That was like a dream of mine. I'd watch it on TV during like my birthday week and would be like inspired by it. But I was always doing too, too many different sports. Yeah. Um, but when I was in grade 11 or 12, I went to RBC training grounds. You know what that is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I did all like the strength tests and the endurance tests and I got like recruited by Rowing Canada. And when they told me like I have like potential to go far in rowing, I was like, all right, this is gonna be my sport. And I'm gonna dedicate to it and see how far I can take it. Yeah, good to see, good to see. So now that like we've known you as a rover, we wanna get to know you outside of rowing and know you and yes yourself, Mike. So like tell us, like where were you born and raised? Um, I was born and raised in uh, Brampton. Yeah, so uh, I mean, 
I love Brampton. It gets a lot of hate on like Six Buzz and stuff. You know, <laughs> like I don't know. Every, and people make fun of me for Stop being hating Brampton. Brampton guys. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I love Brampton. I love my high school. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a hometown. city. Though. It's yeah, just exactly. City, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so, um, what program are you in here, bro? I'm in BBA. Okay, yeah. so what made you choose that program? I started out in accounting in my first year, yeah. and I really didn't like that. Uh, but now that I'm in like the regular business program, it's a lot more enjoyable. Yeah. Um, why did you choose Brock University? Um, well, I was kind of deciding between like Trent, Western, and Brock. Mm -hmm. um, Western obviously has a good business program, but I just really like the team atmosphere with rowing here at, uh, at Brock. So now we're gonna move to our next round here. This All is right. my favorite round. Um, this is a speed round. Okay. So you say you're fast. All right. <laughs> so I'm Not gonna running. say <laughs> I'm gonna say a word. Okay. All right. And yeah. You gotta tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. And you got 30 seconds to go through this whole entire list. All right. All you right. ready? Yeah. All right. Color. Red. Number. 77. Fruit. Blackberries. Dream car. Oh, Porsche. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Greatest athlete? Michael Phelps. Cereal? Captain Crunch. Music artist? 21 Savage. Last song you listened to? Um, oh. Time, man, oh. time. Ah, uh, what's the name of that song? <laughs> Who Wants Smoke? So now we're done with the trivia. We got to know you. We know you as a rower. Now it's time to, for you to show me All right. how we row. Let's do it. I've yeah. never been there before. You ready? Yeah, you'll get it. All right, let's go. Right. Okay, so now that we got to know you, Michael, now we're gonna like, you're gonna teach me how to row. All right. This stuff looks complicated. Yeah. So like, so is not. Nah, how do you like step into like, your bow or something like that? Your position. All right, so first, you just slide that oar across. And this seat here moves so yeah. that you can push with your legs. So you're gonna get your feet in right in front of you. Strap them in nice and tight. Yeah. Then, you're gonna sit back here. This is called your finish. So from the finish, you tap down so that the blade comes out of the water there. And then your arms go out, swing your body, and then your legs go. Drop the blade in, and then it's the exact opposite. You push with your legs, pull with your body, and then your arms. So, so you arms. start in your finish position, right? Exactly, yeah. So you start back here, arms, body, legs, legs, body, arms. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna hop in, I'm gonna strap up. Sure, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so now that I learned how to roll, I feel like I'm kinda like a professional. I feel like I got it, you know, under Pretty my good. belt. So now I mastered that. It's time to master you. This is the challenge Daniel round. Alright. We're gonna race here. Um, my thing is set to 150. Mike's is set to 200. Let's see who wins. You ready? Yeah, let's go. May the best man win. I'm the best man. Attention. Rope. I needed someone on my erg. This thing's gonna go in the water. <laughs> oh man, that was that looked very close. That looked. That looked Let's very check close. the time. Thirty-one point five. Oh. oh. So wait, wait. You beat me. I won. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? You can race there. That was good. I'm not gonna lie. This guy's fit. He, he had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Honestly, Michael, that was some fun there. I'm yeah, sorry I had good. to beat you in your own sport, though. It's, it's all right, it's all right. Daniel round. Daniel doesn't lose. You take no L's <laughs> around here. Next time, we'll cut that lead a bit. Right. 20 meters. Hey, you know what it is? Winners win, man. Well, honestly, thank you for coming on the show, teaching me how to yeah. row, bringing your medals here, and just teaching me both the whole rowing experience and the Brock experience. Yeah, well, thank you for having me, man. Uh, Got to come out, join the heavyweight team oh, next huh. year. I don't know about that yet, but you know I'll think about it for sure. All right, cool, cool. Well, that's all from me, guys. I'm Michael Chapella. I'm your weekly badger.